Spencer Davies, Cavs Insider. How did things change for you and the team when DG is able to get downhill the way he did tonight? Um, you know, it just it just creates more open looks. You know, makes the game easier for everybody. Um, that's you know that's who he is. You know, and we've missed that throughout the first few games and you know it's good to see him getting back to it and you know for creating shots for not just myself but you know for Evan you know Jay the bigs he makes my life a hell of a lot easier that's for sure so um, sorry. Uh, I think the biggest thing now is just continuing to build on that momentum it was a plus 15 tonight did a lot of positive things and now he's got to continue to build on it the bigs were just terrific all night on the mm -hmm. last, um, really had that will to win um, with Jarrett and Evan you know patrolling the paint like that Again, you guys haven't had that either. Mm -hmm. So, how does that kind of propel you guys forward in the season? Um, it's just that's that's who we are, you know. And like I said, this I uh, forgot. I think it was after Indiana. Like you know, at the end of the day, we haven't played you know as a group since well, really at all. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying um, with with when you add Max and you know George to what we've you know and, and T Tom Tristan as well. Um, so now that we're starting to f figure it out and kind of playing together, this is what it's going to look like. And you saw it in the second half against Indiana tonight. But the biggest thing is now is we just can't, you know, be like, okay, we found it. You know, we got to continue to build upon it, do things better. But at the end of the day, we had 18 turnovers, and me and DJ accounted for 10 of them. Evan had five. Like so, now we got to clean that up. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. Just finding ways to continue to build um, on that. And defensively, we know we, we know who we're going to be. You know, we've been that way, and since before I got here. Um, and now just offensively continuing to get acclimated and continue to do a lot of positive things. JB kind of mentioned that you guys have been looking for that knockout blow when you have had the lead mm -hmm. in those, those situations. When Karras gets the steal, mm -hmm. the momentum shifts. Um, is that something that you guys can kind of build off of when you're talking yeah. about closing games? Yeah, you look at this time exact this exact time last year, you know, we went to their place, had the same situation, and then we gave up the lead, you know, so that's that's growth in itself, not just you know, from a team standpoint, but individually, you know, doing different things and growing. And, you know, we got to see him again in a week, so it's going to be another test on the road. You know, we got, see, we got a tough team in OKC. Can we continue to build these teams, to continue to win games in these rough environments? And these early tests, like I've been saying since the first game of the season, are going to help us come down the line. You know what I mean? This is what we're going to see. And now that we're learning these lessons through losses and through wins, but we'll continue to learn these things and get better as the uh, year goes on. Brian. Brian, let's speak of JV mentioned that Strews can bring a element of, uh, of movement to the lineup. Mm -hmm. I know it's a very small sample size, but what have you seen in terms of what he's added? Um, you gotta keep you gotta keep an eye on him. You know, I think that's the biggest thing off offensively. Like, you know, you, he's always constant even when he's you know, he went three of ten from the free throw line but or three point line, but you know, he's still, you know, a threat. You know, you still gotta look at him and that creates driving lanes for myself, for Darius, creates the pocket for Evan if they wanna help. Now he's there for the for the spray out, you know, so I think that's the biggest thing now is just continue to find that. And that's what we you know, we missed last year and now that we have it with him and, and George as well and you know makes guys a lot of guys lives easier you know what I mean in, in different scenarios you've got to pick which one you want to take away. Ethan. Ethan Sands, Cleveland.com. How do you feel that you and Darius's game kind of complement each other? Um, you know I felt that way all along I think you know we're starting to continue to build you know we have a full summer together you know full training camp you know full season you know you're starting to understand where we fit in and at the end of the day like you know Every night's not going to be 31 and 7 and 24 and 7, but it's going to be ways to complement each other, and make the game easier, not just for ourselves, but for everybody. Um, you know, big thing about DG, like, you know, the shot wasn't necessarily falling, but he got to the line 12 or 13 times. You know what I mean? Getting that, that's huge. Continue to put that pressure on them. Um, like I said, he's always going to, you know, be big on assists. That's what he does, you know. But I think for, for us to continue to build together, using each other in different actions, like the way we ended the. Uh, I said the second quarter, you know, that little two-man game where I slip out, like different things like that, being able to put us on the same side. you got to pick which one you want to rotate to, like thinking the game in that way. Um, you know, after over time, you start to build that, and that's what that's what we're, we're seeing, but we got to continue to get better at it. JB said that Jared's kind of like your guy's security blanket, especially for Evan Mobley mm -hmm. down the paint, mm -hmm. so he can play his game as well. Mm -hmm. How have you... How much did you guys miss having Jared? And how much yeah. did I get out of I gave him a big hug when we were in Indiana. Um, he's just, you know, he's that guy. He's he's willing to do a lot of things that, you know, don't always show up. It's just his presence, just being there, you know, deters shots, you know, getting rebounds, finding, making plays in the pocket. He had a beautiful left-handed pass to Max uh, for a three on the wing. Um, you know, things like that, you know, being able to be a presence, you know, down there. And it helps Evan, you know, makes it. It grows, helps Evan game grow. You know, you're seeing like 13 and 16 a night playing really well. 
Um, you know, I think it, it kind of gives Evan a break of having to play the five the entire time, allows him to kind of be more forceful that you saw tonight. Um, but like I said, J.A. is one of the, you know, most underrated bigs in, in the league. He's not talked about enough. You know, he does a lot for us, and you see it. You know, you see it when, when he comes back to what we, what we can do and what we can be and what we are defensively. Uh, Jackson Flickinger, right down to you, Clint. Uh, over the last week, there seems to be an emphasis with you of getting Evan involved. Um, what is it? Well, what is it about your uh, two-man game with him that's so important? Well, I wasn't too good at it last year. I feel like I feel like I wasn't. You know, I've never really played with a big. You know, and there's nothing against you know the bigs that I play with. I've never played with a big like Evan. You know, there's not too many bigs like Evan in this league. So trying to get accustomed to a guy that, quite frankly, I could throw. You know. Almost rolled the ball to him. He's still making, still find a way to make a play, find a way to set a screen. He's attacking downhill, you know, different things, finding him in the pocket, throwing the lobs, and just continue to build. So I got to get better at that, you know, and I think that's something that I've, you know, pride myself on as far as trying to find ways to make, make us better as a tandem because, you know, I watch a lot of film with him and Darius and how they do a phenomenal job at it. You know, I don't try to do it in the same way, but kind of do it in my own different way. And, you know, if they're going to, they got to choose who to put, you know, the bigger guy on, if they're going to put on average A. And so now, a lot of times to start the year, it was, it was Ev, so our, we continuously grew together, and that's what it's, you know, that's what it's going to be. But, you know, this, I can definitely be better at it, you know, but I think for me, putting a lot of emphasis on that, because I know how J.A. and I work, you know, we work pretty well, so now trying to get better with Evan, you know, and create, you know, advantages. Uh, so this is the second game with this, uh, the full starting lineup. Is there really, like, an idea that this is the group that's going to take you to the next level with adding screws? Yeah, that's, that's, that's why we did it. You know, I mean, I think for us it's, it's only been what six six games, but you know you can feel the difference in the last two. You know, even though we lost Indiana, you know, and I, like I said, it's nothing to overreact to. You know what I mean? Like there's 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 things that we can continue to get better. And like I said, we we played a pretty, really good game, and we can be better. You know, like I said, we had a lot of turnovers tonight, a lot of unforced turnovers. Um, you know, I think, and I think the biggest thing now is just continuing to build. You know, just because we got everybody back doesn't mean that I think it's just gonna just fall into place. We've got to continue to put that work in on a daily basis and practice in the games and go out there and do it. And we did it tonight and we've got a tough test on the road coming up and we've got to be ready to do it.